Welcome to City Roundup, brought to you by the City of Pensacola, with your host, Saida Rosa. City Roundup is your one-stop shop for everything having to do with the City of Pensacola. And now, Saida. Hello, and thanks for joining us for another episode of City Roundup. I'm your host, Saida Rosa. We'd like to start our show by showing what Mayor Grover Robinson is up to. On September 10th, the mayor proclaimed this week as Suicide Awareness Week. He joined University of West Florida President Martha Saunders and the brothers of Alpha Tau Omega to execute the proclamation. The mayor encouraged individuals who are having feelings of concern to seek help and know that there are resources in their community to help. Be sure to follow Mayor Grover Robinson on social media. Just search Pensacola Mayor on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. On this episode of Our City News Show, John Scanlon and Tanya Vaden host the show from Pensacola International Airport to talk about the TSA PreCheck Temporary Enrollment Center coming to the airport at the end of the month. They also give us details on what to expect at the Pensacola Seafood Festival and give us a rundown of upcoming golf events. Hello, and thanks for joining us for another episode of Our City News Show. I'm John Scanlon. And I'm Tanya Vaden, and we're here at the Pensacola International Airport to talk about the TSA PreCheck Center coming at the end of the month. The Transportation Security Administration PreCheck Temporary Enrollment Center is returning Monday, September 23rd through the 27th. The service provides an opportunity for eligible travelers to sign up for the TSA PreCheck and save time in airport security lines. Hours of operation for the Temporary Enrollment Center are 8 a.m. to noon and 1 to 5 p.m. The center will be located in the Airport Administration Office on the second floor of Pensacola International Airport at 2430 Airport Boulevard. Travelers must apply online and make an appointment for the TSA PreCheck Temporary Enrollment Center at Pensacola International Airport. TSA PreCheck offers a five-year, $85 membership that allows eligible travelers to go through security without removing their shoes, laptop, liquids, belts, and light jackets. Learn more on TSA's website. Get ready to put on your bib and indulge your appetite because the Pensacola Seafood Festival is coming up. The annual Pensacola Seafood Festival will take over Seville Square, Fountain Park, and Bartram Park September 27th through the 29th. More than 100,000 people will stroll through the streets during this three-day event and enjoy delicious creations from the area's top restaurants. The event also hosts live cooking demonstrations, traditional festival vendors, arts and crafts, and live music. The Pensacola Seafood Festival is a free event put on by Fiesta Five Flags Association. Pensacola Energy is a proud sponsor. Pensacola Energy hosts Fiesta Seafood Grill where we have 10 local chefs each do an hour demonstration throughout the three-day event. Learn more at PensacolaSeafoodFestival.com. Well, we had another successful Mayor's Neighborhood cleanup on August the 31st. Crews with Sanitation Services collected more than 67 tons of bulk waste along with 367 tires and just over 1,600 gallons of paint. More than 2,000 homes were included in the cleanup area. The Mayor's Neighborhood cleanup allows residents in the cleanup area to leave eligible items at the curb on the cleanup day to be picked up. We would like to recognize our Employee of the Month for August. Congratulations to Latoya English from the Housing Department. She was nominated for the award for helping and possibly saving the life of a client who was in distress on July 27th. Great work, Latoria. Well, before we go, we have a couple of events we want to tell you about. City of Pensacola Parks and Recreation has rescheduled Movies in the Park for September 20th. We will be showing A Dog's Way Home. We're partnering with the Pensacola Humane Society for a pet adoption event. The movie will be shown at Hunter Amphitheater at Community Maritime Park once the sun goes down. If you love golf, these next two events are for you. We'll be doing an adult skills challenge with Longest Drive contest on Saturday, September the 28th from 9 to 4. The Osceola Golf Course Longest Drive contest is presented by Bridgestone Golf. The cost to enter is $10 per person. We'll also have an 18-hole putting contest, which is also $10 per person. Then on Friday, October the 4th, it's the return of the Mayor's Cup Golf Classic at Osceola Golf Course. We're looking for teams and sponsors. All proceeds benefit the First Tee of Northwest Florida. Even if you don't want to play, you can still help First Tee. We'll be doing a ball drop after the tournament. Tickets for the ball drop are one ball for $10 or three balls for $20. You can purchase those at the First Tee office or at Osceola Golf Course. 
That's all we have for you on this episode of Our City News Show. Thank you so much for watching. City Hall Selfie Day has come and gone, but thankfully, in this case, pictures on the internet last forever. On this episode of City Spotlight, we not only gave a behind the scenes look at taking the perfect City Hall selfie, we also asked the question, what does city government mean to you? What does city government mean to you? To me, it's, it's an amazing career because we get to be the ones first on scene when people really need us. And so providing that security to the public and to the residents of the city of Pensacola just gives me a drive to want to help more and more. So just knowing that we're going to be there no matter what and help them thick or thin is just a great feeling for me. City government means sharing information. Since I help run the website, we share information with everybody that has to do with the city on there. And if there's information that they can't find, we put it there so others can find it as well. You know, it's unusual for a city to own a port. Um, so for me, uh, what city government means to me is economic development. Um, the port is a catalyst for economic development in our community. It's a job creator, it's a business creator, it's a trade creator. Um, and so for me, uh, that's one of the important roles of city government is, is an economic stimulator and generator for the community. Well, to me, the ability to work for the local government for the last 14 years has given me a place to work where I can enjoy the people that I work around and they treat you like family and it is a professional place to work. Uh, it means a lot. I mean, just looking out for the community, making sure everyone's taken care of. Um, you know, we have a great group of people working here. Um, and we all take care of one another and we make sure everyone goes home safe and the community itself is safe. Whether it's medical calls, fires, uh, car wrecks, we're here for them. So city government for Parks and Recreation, I think, is just providing opportunities for all of our citizens to be able to get out and enjoy an active life lifestyle and be healthy. So it's just great to be involved in those things and bring the community together as one whole. I think it means serving our community, uh, being there for our friends and our neighbors and uh, coming to work and helping people out. For more episodes of Our City Spotlight and News Show, visit our YouTube channel. Search City of Pensacola. We'll be right back after this. Natural gas homes are in demand. Here's what home builders have to say. One of the major roles of us using the tankless water heaters and gas cooktops is because of trying to utilize energy efficient features in our homes. Without reservation, our owners that have moved into a home where we use this natural gas have always been happy that we've used this and very satisfied with the product. Natural gas from Pensacola Energy, the clean, reliable, earth-friendly choice. Heat pumps don't pump much heat. In fact, heat from an efficient natural gas heater can be 30% warmer, and you can get up to an $800 rebate when you install one. Warming up to natural gas yet? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. We now turn to our green tip of the week. Use baking soda and vinegar to clean. They're not only great cleaners, they're also non-toxic. To clean, sprinkle baking soda on a wet cloth and use as a wipe. Vinegar can be used as a disinfectant. Apply lemon juice to mask the smell. Would you like to be a part of the team at the City of Pensacola? We have a number of openings and we're looking for great candidates to fill them. This week's featured job is for a police cadet. This is an entry-level position for those who are interested in a career in law enforcement. Go to PensacolaCityJobs.com to find out what positions we're looking to fill. You can also sign up for notifications to hear about jobs as soon as they're posted. Some food for thought. In this episode of Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites, host John Scanlon from Pensacola Energy and Margaret Ann West from Fiesta Pensacola show us how to use natural gas to make bacon wrap crab stuffed shrimp. On this episode of Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites, I'm joined by Margaret Ann West from Fiesta Pensacola and she's making bacon wrap crab stuffed shrimp fresh out of the Fiesta Seafood Cookbook at Taste of Pensacola. Stick around and find out how it's done. Welcome to Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy. Hi, welcome to Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites. I'm your host, John Scanlon, 
and I'm joined in the Coastal Cooking Kitchen today with the, by a very special guest from Fiesta Pensacola. We have Margaret Ann West. Hello, thank you so much. Thank you for coming on the show. This is awesome. We're gearing up for the 42nd annual. Yes, Pensacola, Pensacola Seafood Festival. <laughs> it is awesome. It's such a lineage here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a legend of Pensacola. It's always a it fun is. time. So I appreciate you coming on the show. Yes, thank you for having me. And you've picked out bacon wrap crab stuffed shrimp. I have. And that's out of the Fiesta Seafood Cookbook, a uh, taste of Pensacola. It's mm -hmm. 25 years of recipes from the Fiesta Seafood Grill put on by Pensacola Energy. Uh, so much history is in this book and these mm -hmm. recipes are easy. So how do we get it started? Well, we get it started. It looks like we take our chopped ingredients and add them to get sauteing. So I will add the onions and the peppers and the celery and the shallots and get that all sauteed up. And that's a quarter cup of each of the onions, the red pepper and the celery and it was two shallots that were minced. Yeah. I mean you can't really go wrong with onions and peppers in a pan. No. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, uh, the trinity here, yes. In, uh, yes. here in the south. And um, when are we going to come up with smell of vision Because oh, that's, <laughs> that's definitely something that we need now. <laughs> Like so, we're gearing up for the Pensacola Seafood Festival, and that's September 27th, 28th, and 29th. Yes. Uh, it's pretty much all of downtown Pensacola. It is. We um, span across three parks in downtown Pensacola: so Seville Square, Fountain Park, and Bartram Park. And those parks are full of arts and crafts vendors, food vendors, live entertainment, a children's area, local restaurants, restaurants that have traveled from all over the country to be with us. So it's definitely a full weekend. Yeah, it, and it's probably the biggest festival in Pensacola, and I know it's one of the funnest too. Yes. Um, there's something for everybody. The art vendors, there's so much incredible artwork there and, and crafts, and the kids have a good time. There's, there's face painting, so you'll see all the little ones running around as yes. Spider-Man and <laughs> you know unicorns, and just a great time. A little bit of everything, and, and it's not just seafood either. Um, we obviously specialize in seafood, but for those of you that might not like seafood or are allergic to seafood, we have plenty of other options like burgers and chicken and all kinds of desserts, all kinds of deep fried snacks. So it really is for everybody. Yeah, gelato, ice cream, there's, it's a great time. So we, we cooked that about three minutes before we add the garlic. Yes. Right? Yep. So and I think we're getting yeah. there. Getting the onions are getting nice and translucent. So I think we could yeah. get started on that garlic. So here's your garlic. Thank you, sir. And then we're going to cook that for about a minute, and then we're going to add a pound of crab meat. Yeah. I mean, nothing can be better than crab stuffed inside of a shrimp, wrapped in bacon, and then put yeah, on a grill. <laughs> that's the only way you can uh, stuff a shrimp, is you have to wrap it exactly, in bacon. Exactly, exactly. And there's also live music at the Pensacola Seafood Festival. Yes. Starts on Friday at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. 7 p.m. there's another band, 9 p.m. another band. Saturday yes. the same time, it's 5, 7, and 9. Yep. And then Sunday, it's 12 o'clock. 1 two and 2. 1 and 2? Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes, well, our Friday night is usually our country night, so we'll have some country acts. And I will tell you a secret, a lot of our country acts become big stars. Mm -hmm. So we've had Chris Stapleton here, we've had Hunter Hayes here, Brothers Osborne. So we like to say we're kind of the stepping stool to the big hits. So if you want to see some new up-and-coming country artists, Friday is definitely going to be your night. And then Saturday, we are going to have the Molly Ringwalds back. So they are an awesome cover band that loves Pensacola, and so we are so excited to have them back this year. And last year, that crowd was... Unreal. It was awesome. And <laughs> yes. it, it was a great time. It's, you know, yes. it's, it's, it is something you can go with the, you know, the, the family or go down there and have a good time. Oh, yes. Uh, it's such a large part of Perfect. Pensacola down there. Mm -hmm. And I think... Quite a few of your acts have gone on to win Grammys. Is that uh, true? Yeah, I'm pretty. Chris Stapleton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he was here. I believe it was two years before he won his Grammy. So he, <laughs> we're kind of a big deal down here. Yeah, you get to see him for free. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and that's another thing. Whole festival's free admission. So only thing you're gonna have to pay for is all the delicious food you want to eat and awesome vendor crafts and stuff you want to buy. So. And while you're down there, if you want a souvenir, you can come by the uh, Fiesta Seafood Grill by Pensacola Energy. Uh, and you can pick up this year, we have 10 different restaurants, as, as always, uh, and they have two recipes each, and we have those cookbooks for $3. And all the proceeds from the sales go to the Escambia Utility Assistance mm -hmm. Program to help the elderly and the disabled pay the utility bills. And then we also have 
the Fiesta Seafood Cookbook at Taste of Pensacola, where we got this recipe from. It's a hardback, over 25 years of history. That's $15. And again, that all the proceeds go to the Escambia Utility Assistance mm -hmm. Program. So, And it's full of recipes that you might not be able to see anymore from restaurants that aren't with us anymore like that. Um, Angus. Angus, one of my personal uh, favorites. Some Angus recipes. The original Scopolos, so it's definitely worth it. They, absolutely. And I, we will have plenty on, on hand, so come by, watch a great show of some of our uh, our chefs. And then we're pretty close to adding our crab meat, yeah, it looks like. Yeah, I think it's like. time. Crab meat it is. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to turn this down some, though, so that doesn't go a little crazy. We actually are going to take it off the heat, if I can figure, yep. If I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Ooh. And then what kind of what kind of chef can you see at the Fiesta Seafood Grill? We have a great list this year. On Friday, September 27th at 5:30 p.m., we have the Wine Bar on Palafox. Oh yeah. Uh, if you haven't been there, their food is incredible. Uh, you can walk through the, the little uh, little hallway there mm -hmm. and watch them make everything. It, it, they they just do a wonderful job. On Saturday, September 28th at 12 p.m., we have Constant Tea and Coffee. Uh, 1 p.m., we have South Market. At 2 p.m., there's Big Top Brewery. Uh, 3 p.m., IQ Eatery. And at 4 p.m. on that Saturday is Boneheads. And then on Sunday, the last day of the festival, September 28th, at 12 p.m., we have Culinary Productions. At 1 p.m., it's Alchemy's Kitchen and Tap. At 2 p.m., it's Classic City Catering. And at 3 p.m., we have Saba Thai. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have a, a good eclectic restaurants. They all do a fabulous job, uh, and they're going to do a, just some great performances down there live. Perfect. I and think. as you get it, when you buy one of those three dollar cookbooks or the the fifteen dollar Fiesta Seafood Cookbook, you get re entered into a drawing during that time. Uh, you could actually be one of the lucky winners to sample what the chef is preparing. Oh yeah, I've I have been one of those lucky winners. It's pretty great. All right, I think we need to add the breadcrumbs and egg, right? Yep, so yeah, yeah as this cooled, now we add uh, breadcrumbs, cheese, hot sauce, and egg. All of the above, some of my favorite ingredients. <laughs> yeah, breadcrumbs. There we go. Now this is Romana, Romana cheese. Romana cheese, which is, is like Parmesan for those of you who don't know that. I didn't know until I tried it. <laughs> Add some hot sauce. How much hot sauce? Uh, a tablespoon. So I like it a little spicy. Yeah. So we're going to add a little bit more than that. <laughs> and the eggs. Yep. Perfect. And get to stirring. And so we're just going to mix that up, and that's going to be what we stuff the shrimp with. And we've already peeled, deveined, and butterflied the shrimp. And so we're going to stuff a tablespoon into the shrimp. Wrap it in our partially cooked bacon before we throw it on this uh, on the stove and finish it off. All right, so everything's stirred, and mixed up. We have our uh, our stuffing. Yes. Now it's time for the tricky part. Yeah, the tricky part. Well, for those of you who can't tell, this kind of looks like a crab cake. So you're basically stuffing a crab cake in a shrimp to wrap and bake. <laughs> so I guess I should use a spoon. But if you are doing it at home, probably be easier to use your hands. Ooh, there I'll we go. The easy part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like this bacon is partially cooked, and we're just gonna wrap it up and put it through a skewer, and then cook it on the grill. Don't mind if I do. So this bacon is basically like our cement to hold all the goodness <laughs> into the shrimp. <laughs> The bacon blanket. Yes. I think you should trademark that word. <laughs> bacon blanket. And so every year at the Pensacola Seafood Festival, you got to showcase some really great art. Uh, last year you had, it was some oysters, and we're wearing yes, the t-shirts now. Are. Um, which is one of my favorite t-shirts. It's comfortable and... 
Yes, and Fiesta, we have a sales tent, which is over by the gazebo, and that is where we sell all of our um, yearly festival merchandise, where you can get um, a beautiful poster um, that we have painted by Jamie Shavat this year. It inco incorporates a little bit of the fest all of the festival, from the Old Christ Church, which is right there on Seville Square, to this fresh seafood, so it's definitely... So it I, that photo or that that painting mm -hmm. embodies so much of what the uh, Fiesta Seafood it, Festival is it about. It really does, and we ended up calling it Seafood in the Square. So it because, like you just said, it really is a little bit of everything. So we're excited this year. It's not just a picture of seafood, which don't get me wrong, some of that artwork is amazing. Like last year's, mm -hmm. like you said, the oyster is amazing. But we're really glad this year to switch it up a little bit and put a little bit of the whole festival. Now, out do y'all still have some of those uh, the koozies from last year? Um, yes, we do have some, a, a few left over hidden somewhere. Those but are yes. incredible. If you have them down there, pick them up, but make sure you get this year's. Yes. Um, but they, I love the koozie last year. Mm -hmm. I love the shirt. And I, I mean, yes. I'll, we'll show. So there it is. <laughs> you can show your uh, seafood pride. Yes. Um, we're going to finish wrapping these. We're going to put them on skewers and then we'll grill them up. The grill. All right. So the hard part's done. We stuffed all these things. Yes. A lot harder than you would think. Yes. <laughs> but it's done. And it was fun. It was yes. Good. And the mixture makes a lot more than mm -hmm. just the 12 shrimp the recipe originally calls for. So get either more shrimp or just add an egg and make yourself some crab cakes. And it's some good stuff too. We've yes. already tried the uh, stuffing. Yes. So all that's left, we're going to throw these on. Mm -hmm. We have a little griddle here. But if you have a, a gas grill at home, throw it on there. It makes it super easy. It's going to smell real good outside. Your neighbor's going to get jealous. Mm -hmm. Or oh. they're just going to come over. Yeah. So you're going to need that extra stuffing. And we're going to do about two minutes on each side. Uh, we're gonna flip it once, and then we're gonna eat, so. Yeah. There we go, there we go. Anything else you wanna add about the uh, Pensacola Seafood Festival? Um, I think you already mentioned it, but I'll say it again. September 27th through 29th in downtown Pensacola, Seville Square, Fountain Park, and Bartram Park. It's going to, it's, um, going to be pretty much all day Saturday and Sunday, and we start at 11 on Friday. So come at your lunch break, get yourself some seafood. Absolutely, and bring the family, bring the kids, bring your grandparents. Yes. Um, it's, it's for everybody. Walk around, so much to see. It, uh, so it much really to do. is. There's a lot of, there's also a misconception that our arts and crafts vendors are just paintings and photography, where no, we do have a ton of beautiful paintings and photography, but we have gourmet items like jams and jellies and dip mixes, and then we have photos, and then we have woodcraft and home decor, some awesome garden um, items that you put in your garden with metal and sprinklers and all sorts of stuff. So literally there is something for everybody. Live music, we got live cooking demonstrations at the Fiesta Seafood Grill put on by mm -hmm. Pensacola Energy. And that's located in Fountain Park. So the yeah. same park where the Gulf to Table area is with the local restaurants, they're right there on the end. And just like last year, we got bleachers again this yes. year. So there's plenty of seating. You can sit down, you can see the show, mm -hmm. uh, pick you up something to eat from one of the uh, Gulf to the Table, mm -hmm. uh, and buy some cookbooks. You might oh, even yeah. get a little, little something extra. Oh yeah, so. definitely. I'm actually gonna go ahead and see how these look if we flip them. <laughs> oh yeah, get that yeah. nice crispy bacon on there. Oh, that one doesn't want to flip, there we go. Nope, I'm gonna get us that one, there we go. Perfect, crispy bacon, that's the way to do it. And the uh, Fiesta Seafood Cookbook, A Taste of Pensacola, there's multiple ways where you can purchase it. You can call us, at 850-436-5050. Mm -hmm. You can go to PensacolaEnergy.com. You can go to CoastofCooking.com. Uh, or you can come down to the Seafood Festival. I vote that option. Yeah, so you <laughs> see in action and see how easy this stuff is. There's tons of these recipes where these where these chefs, they make two of these recipes in a one hour mm -hmm. segment. Mm -hmm. And so if they can do that, you can do this at home and you can amaze your friends, your family. Uh, it's just really good food. It really is, and when you're walking by it, I mean, if you're if you don't realize where it is, just follow the smell because it literally <laughs> so good. They're cooking crab cakes, they're cooking bacon wrapped to anything, and it it's awesome. So definitely check it out. So we'll wait till these are uh, done, and then we're gonna plate them up and call it a day. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're done. This is bacon wrap crab stuffed shrimp, done by Margaret Ann West from Fiesta Pensacola. Margaret Ann, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I loved it. This is awesome. We get to work together quite a bit every year. Yes. We're gearing yes. up again for this, you know, this seafood festival. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so make sure you come down. You see Margaret Ann, you know, wave to her, tell yes. her thank you. She works her tail off, as does everybody at Fiesta <laughs> Pensacola. Yes. Uh, and then come see me at the Fiesta Seafood Grill. And make sure to watch the other episodes of Coastal Cook and Presents Quick Bites for a lot of easy recipes done by some great chefs in our area. We thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. See you there. This has been Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy. That's all we have for you on this episode of City Roundup. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the Seafood Festival. This has been City Roundup with Saida Rosa. City Roundup is the city of Pensacola's one-stop shop for everything having to do with Pensacola. Join us again each Friday at 8 a.m. for more of City Roundup.